Hey guys, it's Ozfer here. Today what I have for you is a Dell Dimension 3000 that I've been upgrading lately. Now that it's summer, I should have time to make more videos to put on YouTube. I've been kind of busy lately. So, today I'm going to show you the Dell Dimension that I've been upgrading for a family member. So I have a, a new DVD drive I installed. This was the original one. It actually broke because the track that it slides out on busted so it will not open. I completely dusted out the whole system so it has better performance and cooling. I was able to upgrade the processor which is in this thing over here to a Pentium 4 3 gigahertz. It used to have this Celeron 2.6 gigahertz. It's only a single core though and it doesn't have hyper threading. The thing about the Pentium 4 is it has hyper threading and it has a higher clock speed so it's able to run faster. And I added in this sound card, just an XFi sound card which can beat the onboard sound that it has and maybe take away some of the processes from the CPU. This system only really needs to browse the web so it doesn't really need a fancy graphics card and it doesn't have an AGP slot or a PCIe slot for a better graphics card. It has a good enough power supply, it's 325 watts, and the hard drive is probably the slowest part of this system. I was able to install the second DVD drive, it only has one screw holding the DVD drives in, and these just slide out through the front, and the second one allows you to copy from one to another directly. I also upgraded the RAM over here. There's two slots over here. I was able to upgrade that from 512 megabytes originally to two gigabytes, but I had some issues with that because this was the original 512 megabytes of DDR RAM that it came with, and it's 400 megahertz, but 512 megabytes really isn't enough for today. So I was going to upgrade it to this not very specific generic RAM that's also DDR, but it's two gigabytes. But the issue with this is it gets blue screens and Windows freezes up all the time and it's just really bad. I got that from eBay actually. It was pretty cheap on eBay, probably because it's no name brand, but it doesn't work at all, so I wouldn't really recommend getting it. The guy doesn't really want to give me a replacement. And this stuff fails mem test and freezes up all the time. So then I decided to put my Corsair XMS memory, which I've used before and it seemed to work, except when I used it with the Celeron, it kept beeping. The motherboard, for some reason, doesn't like a Celeron with Corsair RAM. It would be fine with this RAM, like it would boot up, it would still get the freezes and stuff, but it wouldn't beep. When I put the Corsair RAM in it, it would beep like three times and then it wouldn't turn on at all. I'm not really quite sure why it did this because when I increased the processor to the Pentium 4 then it allowed me to put the Corsair RAM in it no problem except when I ran memtest with this RAM in it it was getting errors between 600 megabytes and 700 megabytes on this RAM stick I have another one over here that passed fine so I was able to replace this stick with another one that I had and that was able to get it to its full two gigabytes of working 400 megahertz RAM. And I have a whole bunch of not working RAM and an old crappy Celeron D processor. Yeah. Um, this has a 1.4 megabyte floppy diskette drive. Mm, has pretty standard power connectors. It has a standard IDE for the DVD drives. But the one thing I did notice is the hard drive IDE cable, they kind of cheapened out on and only put one of, like, there's only one IDE connector for one hard drive over here, which normally there's two, so then you could attach, like, a second hard drive here. But I also noticed that it's requiring some sort of proprietary bracket, probably similar to this one, that would go into this kind of, like, space over here to allow you to clip in an extra hard drive and it's not there. So they kind of really made it hard for you not to be able to install a second hard drive. It does have a SATA power in case you had a SATA hard drive, 
but the board lacks all the SATA connectors that a higher model probably has. And also it's lacking the AGP slot that the higher model board would have also had probably right here. Mm. Yeah, so this thing is probably maxed out as far as I'm going to be able to go with it. Every other upgrade for it, like a PCI graphics card, is pretty overpriced and it doesn't have very good performance. All this system has is an Intel chipset, which it's all it really needs for basic web browsing, and it still does fine. I've, what I've noticed about the Dell Dimension series is while they may not be extremely powerful, they always really seem to last a long time. So, this system is fully up and working. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and I should be making more videos 